What's up everybody, how you doing today? Here with Nate Dog and Gary Watts. And uh, I've never done a little buttering tutorial for what would maybe be called, I've heard them called hot garbages. I've heard them called blunts. I don't know how you can do a blunt on a snowboard if you don't have trucks and wheels. Nate Dog's snowboard actually has trucks and wheels, so you'll be able to do blunts. Um, <laughs> uh, I've heard them called just wheelies, manuals, any other terms? Yeah. yeah, but it's basically just as simple as, especially on little rollers, I love them. You just drive some pressure into the tail, you can shift it if you want, but on little rollers, if often if you ollie off of it, you'll have a really flat landing, or if you ride that tail, you just get a nice smooth little glide away. Yeah, any thoughts on them, what terrain you guys like doing on Any iconic snowboard shots of people doing them that you can think of? No, I don't remember any shots of these, but... I think they're fun. They're good to go over any roller, mm. any little jump. If you want to go into the mini park and do like one of them off the top of the smallest of small jumps, they're fun. Yeah, off the knuckle, boom. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. On the, on the average, I'd say I do them almost every day. I rarely feature them in videos, but it's just something to do. For sure. Uh, when you have that roller, it gives you that little unweight feel. That's why it feels so nice. To, they're pretty easy to jump off of. But sometimes it's really, really fun to see if you can keep like one part of your board on the snow. Yeah. Let's do some. Baby steps for it, just kind of put your board downhill, slightly turn your board front side or back side, and just dig in that tail and play around on it. This little trick, complexity level, low. Fun level, high. Mm -hmm. You know, just like anything with a snowboard, it's about just playing around, trying it out, and it'll make you a better snowboarder. For sure. Any last words about this little maneuver, Nate Dog? Uh, I like to say that instead of just leaning back and wheeling into it, sometimes it's easier to like nolly into it. You get a little more of that momentum started to get that good high intensity high level of turn on your whatever shifty hot garbage whatever you want to call Ew. it how about you any last words on it gary yeah for sure it's just moving energy around on your board and and doing it with the timing relative to the roller that you want to hit and so being able to work uh with like getting one leg long one leg a little bit shorter working through your hip and your knee a little bit um to pull the board up into that position and uh and as ryan was saying pretty fun and it's pretty low consequence as well yep and yeah I see people off uh, off the chair on the chairlift all the time when they're riding below and there's a low roller they jump as hard as they can and you hear that board smack it's not a fun thing on the knees sometimes there is the right things to jump off but instead of for these ones that aren't nice to jump off that's the perfect little trick I think so or a lot of the other buttering tricks I do but hey thank you guys for joining me for this hopefully you're getting some spring shredding in happy shredding thank you all for watching and comply!